Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint dresser hardware or furniture hardware. Here you see I have painting my bedroom furniture and this is the dresser and chest of drawers. This is the hardware for them both. Also the two side tables. Yes, I have one of the gloves. I've been working in these, painting the dresser. You can see that on another video. If you've watched my video on how to paint the dresser, you've seen how I separated all of the hardware into these plastic baggies. They are labeled as to where they go. Example, this is number one. It says Tracy's nightstand, top drawer. So they're labeled like that and they have the screws in there as well so that they don't get mixed up because it is a debacle when you mix up your hardware. Sometimes the screws just don't fit back in the same way if it's in the wrong drawer. So here I have them all spaced out and I have my mask on so hopefully you can understand me talking. Uh, I have the one, two, three, they're all in order from one up to number 16. Number six is missing because the um, little knobs on there had gotten stripped. It is the middle drawer. And the knobs on the middle top drawer were different anyway. So what I'm gonna do is go buy two little knobs that are very cute to go with this. I almost changed the hardware, bought new hardware for my dresser since I'm changing to more modern furniture. A little bit of glam but i said no i want a little bit of a vintage look mixed in with my new bed and new decor so that everything will just look special it won't look super super matchy matchy um kind of interchange the different decor trends that are going on to something that i like so i'll be back this is the spray that i'll be using today the rust-oleum metallic brilliant metal finish and it is in silver so i'm so excited to see how this is going to look against the gray dresser the gray furniture some people kind of strip down or sand down their hardware i did four pieces the first four pieces i sanded them a little bit and you know rubbed them off i said i don't think i need to do all of that so i'm just going to spray and i believe it will come out just beautifully i'm excited to see what it looks like and i it has been, oh you guys, it was a snowstorm. Let me lift this back. I'm in the garage, but I had to pull the cars out. We had a snowstorm last night. So that's what it's looking like outside my door. <laughs> and I couldn't take them outside, you know, out there to spray. So I'm doing it in the garage and I have the garage doors cracked. It's very important to have good ventilation. You don't want to knock yourself out and you just, you know, want the fumes to escape and also the little particles of paint. As you can see, I'm spraying on cardboard and I have newspaper surrounding it so that it won't get on the garage floor. wait for them to dry. You want to make sure that you spray underneath and from the front bottom so that all sides get covered. And here are the results. They look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a second coat. So after the second coat is sprayed on all the handles, I'm going to then flip them over and spray the second side. Now they are all done and they look amazing. Not too shiny, not too bright, just right to go against the gray background on my dresser. So go on over and check out that video. I'll link it right here at the end and check out the dresser and the whole furniture redo. Thanks so much for watching and check out some of the other videos on Tracy's Place.